All right, y'all. A quick Google search tells me that a hole in one in golf is when the ball goes from the tee into the cup in one swing. Obviously, we don't have cups or balls that we're throwing in disc golf, but this video is being uploaded on Christmas Day. If you're one of those people that's gonna be mean in the comments, you know what? There is a part of me that might agree with you that an ace truly has to be in a round first shot, and that if you attempt multiple times, it is a cubby ace. But notice that a cubby ace still has one word in it, ace, and that's exactly what we're doing today. What is up, YouTube fam? It is day 25 of Vlogmas, our very last day and last video of 2022. Y'all, it has been an absolutely just wild year together. And I got this email recently from YouTube Analytics that shared the numbers and stats of the channel. Y'all, I am just blown away and eternally grateful for the support and love that y'all have poured out to the Robbie C channel over this year and over the life of the channel. When I uploaded my first video in March of 2020, I never thought that I would be doing this full time or have the opportunity to meet so many of you in the disc golf space. But the heart and goal of the channel is still the same as it was in day one. We we simply want to help you improve one stroke at a time, trying to make better golfers and help people fall more in love with this beautiful game we play. I will admit though, I do still like to do some fun things and check off some boxes for like Robbie Crawford as a player. And one thing that I still have not done in my life is throw an ace that actually happened on camera. And for lots of you, you probably haven't achieved that either, but also you may not run a YouTube channel, which means that your odds technically should be a lot lower. I mean, after all, I've put out this many videos on the channel and I throw a disc in pretty much every single one of them and we still haven't thrown a disc into the basket. In fact, we've only had one ace the entire time that we've put videos out on this channel. Shout out to you, the ace king himself, Zach Mullen. So I decided that to close out the 2022 year, we were gonna do something that we'd never done before. We were gonna step up and we were going to throw a disc into the basket from the tee box. That's right, it's ace time. Time, baby. And watching other people ace, I know that there are a couple keys to consistency. The first is make sure you give it enough height. The second is make sure that you find a hole that's actually aceable that you can reach. And the third is make sure if you're doing this for the sake of acing that you have a lot of discs. And if you have a lot of the same disc, that's incredibly helpful so you can learn the line as you go. Now there's another channel who's been crushing the Vlogmas series. And if you haven't heard of him before, Ben's Big Drive. We are fairly confident in the YouTube space that Ben is the first one to have aced with a trash panda inner core on camera. Congrats, Ben. You the man. But here's the thing. If you go watch this video, Ben had two inner cores and he had to walk back and forth a whole awful lot. Because I've waited till the end of the year and you might be able to tell my jitteriness isn't because I'm so excited about the ace, but it is really cold here in Alabama. So I don't want to be walking back and forth that much. Plus, Ben is a young spry guy and I'm at this point like an old dude in the disc golf world who's trying to figure things out. So I call up my guy Jesse and said, hey, I want to ace with your disc. Any way you can help me out, my man? And he said, yeah, homie, let me hook you up with some plastic, my guy. It's all trash, but you know, trash is the new best thing. So we came prepared. We have 16 inner cores ready to go, ready to fire. Let's see our target. So our hole of choice is hole seven at Humble Tree Disc Golf Course located in Argo, Alabama. Comes in at 195 feet with a slight turn over down the hill into an incredibly protected green. As you can see from the catch cam, the odds of the disc going in are pretty low. For the naysayers watching the beginning of the video saying that it's not an ace unless you get it on the first try, here is the best chance we have at that. All right, big kick. That wasn't it. Okay, that was good. We need a little more turn on it. Let the games begin. I'm excited to see these on the catch cam, see if any of these are actually getting close. Okay, that one didn't get close. I 
After 64 shots and 64 whopping misses, we shed the hoodie and decided let's push through the pain. So, needless to say, spirits were a bit low coming out of day one trying to hit this ace. The more I looked at the hole, I thought it would be super cool to grab this one, but daylight was not on my side. We'd have to come back to a different hole tomorrow. I want to take a quick moment, pausing from the Ace Runs, to talk about an amazing sponsor who made this entire Vlogmas stream possible. Today's video is sponsored by Pop Top Disc Golf. Pop Top is a fantastic channel who is running an amazing giveaway that you're definitely going to want to check out. They just launched the giveaway, so there is definitely still time to get in, but this is a group of dads who wants to create entertaining challenge content in the disc golf space. The banter that goes on between the guys during these videos is high quality humor. If you want to check out their hilarious content, Make sure you go see them at the link in the description below. I want to say thank you to Pop Top for sponsoring Vlogmas and believing in beginners in disc golf. All right, here we are, day two. We are out here trying to secure the ace in the year on a bank. So we switch things up for a hole that I still think looks pretty awesome and epic with a double mando that you have to hit. And it only comes in at 15 feet shorter and it's actually flat the whole time. So it's probably about the same distance anyway. So we're out at Fresh Air Farms. We're going for hole five. Let's see, let's get an ace. Here we go. New course, new day, attempt number 162. Let's just get it done right here. Okay, what I meant to say was attempt number 163. Let's get it done right here. Okay, we tasted metal. I like, I just want them to taste metal. That would be nice. Cause I feel like they're just like, they're getting right next to it and they're just never even touching. I just want to hear the chains. No way, 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 no way. No way, no way. Please tell me you're in there. Please tell me you're in there. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, number three, oh, Four is in the chains. I cannot describe to you how low my feelings and expectations were after throwing the same shot so many times. But you know what? We'll never have to chase the stream again. We have thrown a disc from the tee into the basket. One shot all air into the chains. 
I feel like a like a real disc golf YouTuber now. Shout out to Jesse for making an incredible disc. Shout out to each and every one of you for making 2022 a year that we'll never forget. I truly cannot put into words how much each and every one of your views and comments and messages that I receive means to me. And y'all, we have huge plans to continue to grow the sport and help beginners improve one stroke at a time, all while trying to make the world fantastic for someone else too. So with my number one disc golf YouTube bucket goal achieved, that's gonna wrap up Robbie C. Disc Golf for the year 2022. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible rest of the day. Please make it fantastic for someone else too. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. But for now, we're gonna leave you with the birdie. Yes, let you know we've got a pretty cool sponsorship announcement coming in the year 2023.